What's up guys? So today I decided to film a little makeup tutorial slash get ready with me and if you guys would like to see how I got this look, keep on watching! To start off, I used a moisturizer from Basquiat and I simply applied it to my face with my fingers. Now you can use whatever moisturizer works well for you, I just had this one around. Next, I used the Too Faced Hangover Primer to use as a base before applying any of my foundation. I used my Ipsy Color Corrector in the shade Pistachio to help tone down the redness in my face. I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Fair Beige, and using a damp beauty blender, I buffed the foundation into my skin until I was happy with my base. Moving on to concealer, I used my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer in the shade Fair Light to cover up my blemishes. I also fanned my face a little to dry the concealer a bit before blending it out with the same damp beauty blender as before. Continuing with the same concealer, I applied it under my eyes in a triangle formation to cover up dark circles and help brighten the overall look of my face. I also applied a thin strip down the center of my nose and a small triangle just above the space between my eyebrows for a minor highlight, once again buffing the concealer with a damp beauty blender. Now on to contouring. I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay Face Shaping Palette and I mixed the colors Terracotta and Desert together to define my cheekbones, jawline, and apply shading to my forehead. I also brought some of the shading down my neck to help erase any unwanted makeup lines. Continuing on with the contour, I used the same Tarte palette, this time using the color Timber, to define my nose and give it an overall thinner appearance. Moving on to cheeks, I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Party, and I applied it using an angled blush brush. Then on to highlight, once again with another Tarte Amazonian Clay product. This highlighter is in the shade Stunner, and gives a nice champagne -y glow. I applied this just above my blush, down the center of my nose and on the tip of my nose, as well as just above my top lip and on the butt of my chin. Now onto my favorite part of makeup, filling in my eyebrows. So if you happen to know me, you know all about how I joke about not having any eyebrows. Now while I physically have them, they are very light and blonde compared to my brown hair, so they need a little help. I used the Cabrow by Benefit Cream Gel Brow Color in the shade 3. If you happen to be able to guess what song I'm singing here, 
and what I'm singing really throughout the entirety of me doing my brows, then props to you. At the end of the video, you'll get a hint towards what singer I was listening to, though it wasn't the same song. I first applied the color to the bottom of my brows, continuing then to the top, tracing out a general shape of how I wanted them to look before filling in the gaps, using the angled brush that came with the brow gel. After applying the gel to both of my eyebrows, I used a spoolie brush to comb through them and even out the color and take off any excess product. Now what I didn't film was me setting my brows, and I used the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter after combing through them to make sure they stayed in place. Moving on to the eyes, I primed my eyelids with the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the color Light and I used a Luxie Precision Shader Brush to blend the product out. Back to the same Tarte palette I used to contour my face, I applied the color Stone to my crease with an Echo Tools Blending Brush. It's going to look a little scary at first, as right now I'm simply applying the color. After applying a good amount of color, I used a blending brush from Glamour Dolls to blend the shade into my crease, following up with a fluffier blending brush by Ipsy to really spread out the color. Once you're happy with your blending, it's time to move on to the lids. I started off with a cream eyeshadow by Dirty Little Secrets in the shade Illusion. I blended the color out with the same Ipsy brush as before. The reason why I winced is because I accidentally pushed the brush bristles onto my eye and it was not pleasant. I decided to once again revisit my trusty Tarte palette, and I took the shade Journey and applied it on top of the Dirty Little Secrets color. I also decided to take a loose eyeshadow by Meech and Maya in the color Beige and apply it over my lid once again to give my eyes a slight shimmer. back once again to the same Tarte palette, I applied the color Journey to my lower lash line to give my eyes a little more definition, and in the inner corner of my eyes I applied the color Solstice to give a light highlight and help brighten and open my eyes up. Onto my lashes themselves, using what some people consider a torture device, I used a general lash curler to curl my upper lashes, and then I applied my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to both my upper and lower lashes to help open up my eyes. Last, but certainly not least, we move on to the lips. I lined my lips using a Rimmel lip liner in the color Rosé. Then I filled in my lips with a liquid lipstick by M Cosmetics 
in the shade Rose Nude. If you're a mess like me, you may have to go back a few steps and touch up some of your makeup. However, if you're a pro, then you are finally finished and you will be able to rock this look anytime, anywhere. Alright, so this is the final look guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Death of a bachelor. Oh. Happily ever after. Oh. How can I ask for more? At the expense of the death of a bachelor.